Okay, this is a quick video on the Wacom Cintiq. Um, so this thing is pretty cool for modeling in 3D. Um, you have, it comes with this pen and the pen has two buttons on it, one here, one here. Um, I actually have this button on the bottom set for right click and this button set at 000. zero, zero. Um, it also has these quick express keys that are programmable as, as well as this touchpad uh, zoom. So if you see the top viewport is getting smaller and bigger, it's zooming. Um, yeah, so I have this set for escape, enter, shift, right click, control. I put this tape on it because I can't remember. Um, maybe you walk them in the next version. Um, they might be able to have it where they light up or something. They do that in the um, Wacom Intus 4, the new one. The medium size actually lights up as you program it. Um, and then you have the same exact thing on the other side, programmable keys. Um, what's nice, the difference between this and not having a screen that you're actually drawing right on is that when when you are going to select something, you're actually looking at it. You know, you're you're looking at the spot that you want to actually grab, um, and it's kind of you know it's kind of like working through a microscope. Uh, just you know, I I use the other one too, the the Intus Four Small, um, and that's great. Um, it's definitely I like it a lot better than working with a mouse. Um, because my hand doesn't get cramped up as much um, and I don't get the shoulder pain and the wrist pain. Um, so, you know, I, the question is, 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 is this worth $1,200 and the Intus 4 Wacom that doesn't have this screen you just draw in here and then you would look at the monitor ahead of you is about 250 So. Um, I, I, I really like this. I, I think it's a really great tool for CAD designers. It's definitely geared totally towards uh, artists. Um, it works amazing in Photoshop. It has pressure sensitivity, so if you press hard, it, um, it makes the line darker and wider, and if you press light, it gives like a light line. Um, and in CAD, you just you, you have so much precision with this. I just really like the feel of being able to just grab the mo you're almost like grabbing the model itself with your hand and just twisting it around because it's right in front of you on the screen. It's just really cool. I really really like it. I'm probably going to buy one. Um, uh, what would be just really wonderful is if this was an actual computer, but this is basically a monitor slash pen that you're drawing on. You still have to plug this into your computer. Um, uh, with this, I don't even need my keyboard. I have an express key programmed that has keyboard, and because typically in CAD, the only other thing that I'm typing is numbers. So I just pop out a couple numbers if I need a certain length, and then that's it. So which enables me to grab this thing and just put it on my lap if I want to just kind of lean back and model. It's like just drawing. So I really, really like that idea. Um, you know, in an ideal world, this would be its own computer, um, kind of like a tablet. Um, the only bummer with the tablets right now is that they don't have the express keys. I just don't understand why they can't put those express keys on there. Um, maybe they just feel that it's not important. But like that new, um, you know, like some of the new tablets that have been reviewed, if they just throw that on there, I would buy it tomorrow. Because um, I do like the idea of being able to just, you know, go to a coffee shop and do my modeling and um, not have to bring a pen and my laptop with. If I could just draw on the screen with a tablet, it would be wonderful. And if it had the express keys, it would be, you know, perfect.
Um, I know you can draw on them now, it's just I need those express keys. So uh, I really like this. I um, guess there's not much else to talk about with it. Um, I, I think, you know, this size, the 12 inch, the $1,200. It's really well, well worth it. The 21 inch, I think, is $2,000. Um, it's out of my price range. Um, it would be nice to have a big one, but um, I don't have a lot of space. I mean, if you zoom back, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty tight here. So this one actually fits perfect. Um, and that's about it. If you have any questions, you can email me at mhg at mhgjewelry.com.